Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com here. Happy Monday. Coming at you, this should be pretty fun. 2021 Hit Parade Autograph Big Box Series 6. What about Series 6 right here? Series 6. What, what do we have here? It's a random letter break as well, version number 1. Looks like multi-sport. At least 5 randomly inserted autographed items, hand numbered. 1 through 50, this is box 18 out of 50. Loaded with stars and Hall of Famers. Josh Allen, Steph Curry, Zeke, Hank Aaron, Tatis Jr. Pretty nice. So it's a RL, random letter break. We're going to go by the player's first letter of his or her last name that appears on the card or item, as the case may be. Um, don't look at this example. I don't know why that example is either, but it's first letter of their last name. All right, so big thanks to this group here for getting in on it. And there are the letters right there. Let's roll it. Let's randomize names and letters. Four and a six ten times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and tenth and final time. Four and a six, ten times. There's ten right there. We got Brody down to Martin. Four and a six, ten times for the letters. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and finally, tenth and final time. After ten, we got W down to E. All right, Brody with W, Franklin with G, Karen with M, Charles with the Y, Vino combo letters, C with K, Mike with D, Peter with P, Daniel with J, Mike with F, Stephen with R, Jim with L, Steve with S, Brian with A and C, Roger with B, Adam with H, Logan with T, and Martin with E. Let's order these alphabetically. And we're gonna pause the video. When we come back, we're gonna see if there's any trades and then love the break. Stick around, BRB. All right, welcome back everybody. No deals were done, so there were no trades, and we alleviated some letter anxiety. Some people had some anxiety. We helped them out. I think they feel a little more relieved about their teams. Folks, I'm just totally confusing myself on this break. I think I said earlier, it's the first letter of their first name. No, it's first letter of their last name. That's what it says in the item description. Let's keep that in mind. So, for example, um, it says right there in the item description right here, first letter of his or her last name. Uh, if it's Carl Anthony Towns, Carl Anthony is actually his first name. Towns, it's hyphenated. T Towns is his last name, so it'll go to T, for example. So, once again, here's the final printout. Big thanks, everybody, for getting in on this, this fun random letter break. I've got the case behind me right here, so let's pop this open. Let's see what we got. You can kind of see right here, Big Box Series 6. All right, so everyone should be able to see on this camera angle right here. Feels pretty heavy. 
four. Five. And six. We got a bonus hit. Six. And there was the, you can share your hit with Hit Parade thing right here. All right, so let's see what we got. Let's do what feels like a jersey. Uh, let's do the, let's get the photo out of the way. name on the end cap right here. All right. Oh, these are actually sack packs, a little, little the hit parade logo on them. All right. Who am I? Let's see. Let's go to this person's Wikipedia page. An active wide receiver in the National Football League. First round pick, late first round pick. Played for two teams my entire career. Five-time Pro Bowler and NFL receiving touchdowns leader. Part of the PFWA All-Rookie Team. First team All-ACC and an ACC champion. Might narrow down the colleges a little bit for this person. Uh, 782 receptions in my career. 10,495 receiving yards and 67 receiving touchdowns in my entire career. There you go, Mike Tower. That was a fast guess. What gave that away? That's for Adam and the letter H. DeAndre Hopkins. We got the TriStar authenticity information here. There we go. Oh, that's a cool shot. Nice. I thought it was going to be this one. No, I, I like these, this vertical shot here. And the auto is really cool. Let's see if we can get a good look at the auto. I like this red ink auto that we have here. And you got all the authenticity stuff in the corner right over here, but there's the auto. Pretty nice. Let me just give me a second here. Let me write this person's name on here. Once again, that's for Adam. All right, next thing. Got a jersey in here. All right. Who am I? A former ice hockey player, an American, a left winger, best remembered for my role on the U.S. Olympic hockey team that won the gold medal in the 1980 Winter Olympics in Lake Placid. 
Who am I? I guess start start naming uh, those those hockey players from that Miracle and Ice team. Um, no, it's not Urizoni. It person name is William Conrad Buzz Schneider. There's his autograph right there, and his number twenty-five. Nice silver ink auto. You got the David Adams card here. You got the Schneider on the back. David Adams sticker down there. This looks like a custom jersey. Yeah, it's a custom jersey. So you're not going to have any of the official licensing, but still pretty cool. And that's Steve Birch with a letter S. We got the Winter Olympics coming up next uh, in February of next year, in just a what couple months, few months, few months. So it'll probably it's a good time to to rewatch Miracle on Ice. All right, what do we have down here? Another jersey, maybe. Hey, this looks like this is officially licensed. See the player's name here. All right, who am I? Um, I am an active professional baseball player, utility player, a Puerto Rican national, right-hander, lifetime 242 batting average, 91 home run, 287 runs batted in, played with one, two, three, four teams my entire career, a World Series champion, and a two-time Fielding Bible Award winner. The Fielding Bible recognized the best defense player for each fielding position in Major League Baseball. Who am I? The first two teams I was I was on was not not too impressive, but the last two teams I was on have been playing a lot better, and a uh, and a fan favorite. Pretty clutch in the postseason as well. He won the World Series with the Dodgers in 2020 and then signed with uh, this current team with the Red Sox. It's with the Red Sox now. I think this is his Dodgers jersey, though. Who am I? He's played, uh, I've played every position except catcher in the major leagues. I've always wanted him to play, to have at least an inning playing catcher. But spends most time in the outfield and at second base. No, no one even wants to venture a guess. 
It's a nice officially licensed jersey. Can anyone anyone tell by the autograph? There's the Fanatics and the MLB hologram sticker right here. There's the MLB logo man right there. Nice Dodgers jersey. Kike Hernandez. The officially licensed jerseys are always really cool. You still have the, you got a big World Series patch on there too. That's pretty sick. And we've got uh, all of the retail tags still hanging right here. There's got to be the Nike logos around here too, right? There's the Nike logo up front. Oh, right, yeah, don't, don't forget the, uh, don't forget the, the accent. There you go, and that's for Adam, letter H. Let's fold this back up nicely. That big World Series patch is pretty awesome. Yeah, he's a pretty, pretty big fan favorite in LA. And I wanna say, he's gotta be, I don't know, Red Sox fans, is he a fan favorite out there? I know he's always been, been pretty well liked. So Adam, letter H. Enrique Hernandez. Nice one for Adam. All right, next is, what should we do next? I feel like there's all sorts, these last three are kind of this must be a basketball. Let's let's see what's in here. I don't know if the player's name is on here. Is it on the box? We'll just have to guess the old-fashioned way. Oh, no, the name's right here on this tiny little rolled-up sticker tag. It's not... All right. Oh, that's pretty nice. All right. Who am I? I know, it's not looking good for me and Oliver, though. Who am I? I'm an active active American professional basketball player. Let's see, played for one team my entire career. I guess I won a gold medal in the FIBA America's Under-16 Championship. That's pretty cool. And was a first-round pick out of Memphis. I feel like I, I have not played yet this season. I'm coming back from an injury, but my rookie year, which was just last year, um, averaged about 11.5 points a game, almost six rebounds a game across 39 games. I feel like, I feel like injuries has, has kind, of, kind of befuddled him. Yeah, on April 15th, I underwent an, a successful surgery to repair my torn meniscus and was ruled out for the remainder of last season. And I think he's just kind of working his way back from that. Um, yeah, Jim Murray and Oliver got it. It's James Weissman. I feel like he could be... Can you, can you believe like how good the, uh, the Warriors have been playing without James Weissman or Clay Thompson? It would be kind of scary if they... I mean, even if Clay's not the same player when he comes back, James Weissman's still a young, up-and-coming star. That could be pretty crazy. Uh, we've got the 
the Beckett authentication tag right here. There it is. That's pretty awesome. And Brody was just looking for a W2. A W2? We'll get those soon, too. A W as well. You got the Beckett sticker right there, too. You even got Adam Silver's autograph on there. Nice. My post it notes. There it is. So that is indeed. Brody with the letter W. No, we're not doing W2 breaks. I think we do have a we do have a number of uh, we do have a number of uh, accountants that do shop with Jaskies. I'm sure they don't want to hear about W twos for a little while before it becomes their life. Oh, your brother's a Warriors fan. Nice. That, there you go. I think you just figured out a uh, figured out your Christmas gift. Easy. Boom. Done. All right, what do we have here? Oh, I think I know what this is. We, we might have pulled this one before. Is it the same player, you think? Yeah, it is. Some of you may remember this brick that we pulled a while ago. <laughs> yeah, I made a W2 reference, and I was like, there's probably a lot of people, a lot of accounts who don't want don't to play... Uh, I want to hear about W twos for a while. So don't guess if you don't guess if you remember who the brick is. But I've got a lifetime. Um, oh, Oliver and Jim ruining it already. Um, I've got a lifetime two sixty two batting average, two thousand five hundred and eighty four hits, five hundred and sixty three home runs, one thousand seven hundred and two runs batted in. Played for one, two, three, four teams in my entire career. The last year of my career played with a team that drafted me. A 14-time All-Star, a five-time World Series champion, an AL MVP, a two-time World Series MVP, a two-time Silver Slugger Award, a four-time AL Home Run Leader, an AL RBI Leader. Uh, two teams have, have, uh, have retired my number. Inducted in the Hall of Fame in the early 90s. First ballot with 93.6% of the vote. Who am I? If you were paying attention to the chat, a couple people ruined it for you already. Sorry, I should have warned them not to guess. But I think Mark's got it. Reggie Jackson. So this is cool. I We looked this up because there... Here, let's see if we can... I think this was an actual brick from from Yankee Stadium, I want to say. Was that right? You guys remember? So there it is. You can you can see Reggie's distinctive autograph right there. And you've got that hologram code. So if you go to MLB.com slash authentication, you can look up those uh, series of letters and numbers, which is HZ, HZ551, 964. And I'm not a robot. Not yet, anyway. Yeah, it's a... Yeah, they say it's the event Steiner Yankee Brick. I guess autograph maybe it was a Steiner event where there is autographing Yankee bricks, but it's old yeah, old Yankee Stadium brick. 
So let me flip back right here. So that's pretty cool, right? <laughs> no, it's not Reggie Gaxon or Reggie Yaxon or Silent T. Reggie. <laughs> no, that's a pretty awesome hit. All right, so that is going to be actually, let's flip this this way. I think that's going to be for Dan was excited. It must be Dano with this, right? Yeah. There you go, Dan. All right, nice. Congrats. The shipping cost for this will actually be pretty cheap, Mike Tower. Just use a pri priority, uh, priority flat rate box. And the last one is a mini helmet. Let's see who it is. Uh, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure we're sending these, uh, these hit parade pouches too. I'm not entirely sure. All right. Who am I? I'm a former American football linebacker who played eight seasons in the NFL, played college at Penn State and was drafted in the third round of the 2010 NFL draft, which is, uh, the helmet here. Played for two teams my entire career. Really for one team my entire career. But Penn State linebacker drafted in 2010 in the third round. Three-time Pro Bowler. Ended up with 798 sack or seven sacks, that would be a lot. 798 tackles in my career, 14 sacks, nine forced fumbles, six fumble recoveries, five interceptions, and a defensive touchdown. I feel like I was a pretty solid player. Twenty ten was my rookie year. I think maybe some injuries towards the end of his career kind of kept him from. Yeah, twenty fourteen had an injury, ACL, MCL injury in late twenty thirteen that knocked me out. Twenty fourteen, returned from the knee injury, and actually, yeah, started all sixteen games after I came back from that injury and finished with a career and league leading 154 tackles making my third pro bowl appearance and first first and, and his fourth first team all pro perf, uh, appearance and then uh torn achilles in 2016 and then 2017 just didn't really work out i think he was released by this team picked up by my raiders didn't really got an interception with the raiders and then uh after that, I think that was it for me. Yeah, Charles, nice. Navarro Bowman. Yeah, I remember him being being really good, but those injuries towards the end of his career, he could have obviously had a much longer career. But he, he had a really promising start to his career. He could have been really good. Um, Navarro Bowman... Letter B, Roger, with B for Bowman. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. I think we got an extra hit out of here. The description says at least five hits. We got a sixth, and, um, and it was a pretty nice one. Thanks for watching, everyone. That was a fun break. We always enjoy doing these. Keep your eye out for more on jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'm Joe. I'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.